wake up. This will wake you up. <laughs> this will definitely wake you up. It's a horn bell. It's a bird. The bird is the word. Bird, bird. And you know what? This bird is the word. It's the horn bell. And I think they do make sounds, don't they? Yeah. That's why they get the big horn on the front. Um, and this is this is in its name. Uh, I saw this knife the first time. And this is the same knife that I saw the first time. January 2023. And uh, at the SHOT Show in Las Vegas, which is a trade show. Okay. So the public, you have to be in the industry. You got to go through some qualifying, blah, blah, blah. Pain in the butt, too. But. So I was going around there, <laughs> pain in the butt, but I was going around. Um, and so I went to the QSP booth, and Dave was there, Blade Banner. And I said, what's new, buddy? And looked down on the case, and this, my eye just went to this, to this knife. <sighs> That's a good-looking knife, isn't it? I don't know what it is. I mean, when I see a design I like, it's just like, yeah, I like it. And... and it's just a visceral thing. You know, you know what you know, right? You know when you see what you like. Um, and so I like this. It's not because it's huge or a monster knife or overly complicated or anything like that. But there's something about it. And you know what this, what is this stuff called? Golden carbon fiber. That's what they call it. Golden carbon fiber. That is nice. I don't know if I would have picked that just, you know, not knowing, but seeing it on this knife, I like that. I think that drew my eye to it. But then it's this, you know, this kind of thing, the swedge here, reinforcing that tip, but kind of a tip that you can pick at labels, you could cut your finger off with almost, and... Uh, and other things like that. And you can come up forward on this little dog. And this is a prototype, right? Does it say it somewhere? Oh, sample. Okay. Nah. Couldn't spell prototype, so you just put sample. Um, but this is a sample. So this is a sample, dude. This ain't a real like production unit yet. And I said, oh, are they going to... Of course, I couldn't buy anything from from Dave at SHOT Show, because SHOT Show is an industry trade show. You can't buy stuff there. I guess they could give you something, but you can't exchange money. You can't buy stuff. And most of the stuff there is guns. So no, you don't have like 45,000 people buying guns um, in uh, Las Vegas. So can you imagine that? Let's go get drunk. I've got a bunch of guns now. Um, but <laughs> they probably have nightmares thinking about that show coming to town uh, every year. But Ooh, the SHOT Show's crazy. If you can ever get there because you get invited by somebody who gets you qualified to be able to attend, it's a real experience. It's a crazy experience. But here it is. The hornbill. Crazy hornbill. It's a bird, and the bird is a word. And you know what? Uh, I don't know, just the overall, yeah, the overall design. Let me see if I can front flip this thing. I'm not big into front flippers, but you know what? That does front flip. Okay, that does, that does. Okay, we're good. Um, and then the ambidextrous thumb studs. Okay, you can reverse flick it, kick it, flick it, and that's the ticket. Okay, this is all I could find on this dog right now. Hornbill, it's the QS 146 Alpha 1, 199, which I don't know, that's probably MSRP. When these come out for real and for true on the MAP and this and that with discount codes and crap and whatever, you just figure out what you think. I think you'll probably be able to get them in the 175 to 185 range or whatever. S35VN, stonewash, uh, you know, blah, 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 ceramic bearings. Seven and a half, three and a quarter blade, seven and a half overall length. So 59 to 61. Well, you give yourself that kind of a spread, you're likely to hit it at least, aren't you, with the Rockwell um, Hornbill. Okay, that's it. That's all I know about it. It comes in this box. We'll pull it apart just because it's a sample, right? And we can uh, destroy the sample. But, okay, how did I get it then if you can't buy anything at SHOT Show? Okay, 
I, I didn't finish my story um, and wasting your time. And uh, so then there was the Texas Blade show, okay? So I drive foolishly, foolishly. I drive 1,300 miles from South Florida over to Fort Worth. And sure enough, Blade Banner's there, and he's got the same knife sitting on the table, okay? And he's got the canary, too. Woo-hoo! And he has a beautiful canary knife. But look at that with the infused copper in there. How do they do that? Even who was it with me? Um, there, there, there was some people going, I don't know how they do that. Um, but, and with this fat carbon, is this crazy? This is muy loco, isn't it? So I just had to get this too. But this was not in production either, right? But he says, I do actually have permission from QSP to be able to sell the samples. And I go, mm, okay, bingo, here comes the wallet. Because you know, I did, I really like this one and I can't remember what I paid for it. Nah, it wasn't 200 bucks, it was less than that. Um, but I bought it and I, and I can't honestly remember exactly. It's got a titanium pocket clip. That's kind of nice. It's kind of classy, isn't it? I I like the look of it, too. Um, yeah, lanyard hole. Hardware looks eh, about par for the course. Nothing special, that's for sure. It looks like number sixes and stuff. Number eight on the pivot. Um, it, it fills the hand. It can't be too... Ooh, it's 14 millimeters. 0.55. Yeah, it's not scrawny. Um, okay, 3 millimeter. 2.6. Okay. Let me see. Will it cut anything? Get over here. Give me a piece of paper. Give me a part of a piece of paper. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, for a sample, it sure is damn sharp, so... We're good with that. Oh, by the way, what does it weigh up on? But yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll get my tape over here. You saw the the length and stuff. Okay, it's technically under four ounces at 556 whatevers. Okay, come on. Get over here. One grams, 100, 111. My scale's starting to skip, skip. Okay, now... Oh, by the way, let's get the tape over here. It's always upside down and I can never see it. Come here. Get over here. Pull this baby out. Okay. Eh, 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 eh. Come on. Three and a quarter. Supposed to be three and a quarter. Okay, it is. Three and a quarter at about what? 85? 85, 85 millimeters. Seven and a half overall at 19 centimeters. Okay. So it's not tiny it's not a three and a seven it's at least a three and a quarter um you know would it be nice if it was three and a half yeah but i think it'll be fine at three and a quarter actually i think a lot of guys would be really happy to get this in their hands at three and a quarter inch blade because that's a good carry size and yet the handle because of the blade to handle length thing okay right here you oh yeah right there i felt it coming up on me um yeah okay so it's all there and the flow well this is front flipper so other than that it flows good on design uh don't know who designed it uh guy named sample i guess you know and uh whatever but i like this I i'm digging it i actually got a box out of him too i don't know that it came with this but he probably had an extra oh here you go here you go yes it was it's it's hand done isn't it okay there we go there we go i wonder if this is hand done too oh sh no this is new version sample okay my canary as well so yikes um no, I, I dig it. I really do. The ergos are pretty good on this. Straight shot out here. Uh, it definitely fills the hand. It's got, you know, it's not nested liners. The liners actually show. you got a thumb ramp here with jimping. Um, and then you can slide up here pretty comfortably as well. And then this thumb thing becomes a thing, you know. So uh, this is kind of interesting that they did this little 
inset here with the machining on the blade and then put the thumb studs in. So, and then what's this? I don't know if they're going to make any changes between this sample and the final production model, but I kept thinking I saw somewhere where they said it was going to be an April introduction. I'm looking on the paper. No, I don't see it here, but I kept thinking if you go to QSP website and I'll put their link to the website, I kept thinking they said an April model and it's May already, but I don't see it anywhere. So of course, as soon as I publish this, it'll be released everywhere probably. But uh, no, at the time I'm filming this, no. And yeah, it's, it's cool. Okay, so quit jabbering about it. Let's pull it apart. If we can grab Mr. Blue Boy over here. Let's see if we can move everything around. Okay. But what do you think? You think this is going to come apart on me? I hope so. I hope I can get it to move. I uh, better get my number six and my number eight out here. Number eight is great. They ain't going to come out that way. Ooh, doggy. Well, that wasn't too tough. And it didn't move. And I don't know if we got a captured pivot or what. We're going to find out. This, these are number sixes? God, they almost look like number fives. They look so small. But no, it's okay. Number six. Okay, do this again. Let's get this. I think maybe one of these screws goes into the standoff or not. Hmm. This will be interesting. Let me see. Uh, okay. Or maybe there's a screw underneath. Okay, hold on. Well, both those screws are mighty long, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah, one does go into that standoff. Why is the second one as long? It doesn't need to go into anything. That's weird. I'm going to look at that when I put that back together. Because um, that makes me think it's sticking through somewhere. Okay, here we go, liner. And, uh, yeah, we got a ceramic detent ball, skeletonized, that kind of thing. So let's put this is the back side of our golden carbon fiber or fat carbon i'm sure uh okay hold on get you over here let's put that there okay yeah ceramic bearings hmm. there and there of course there's so we got a built-in oh yeah we got a built-in stop into here that's rolling on that track down there and then we got these and of course, this being a sample, I wouldn't necessarily expect that this would be the final decision on everything, but it might be awful close. Um, I don't see much faulted with it, actually. Um, let me see if I can find my flat spot again. Look at you, this camera's fun. There we go. Okay. We got it. And so, yeah, it's skeletonized in here as well. And there's your standoffs, and they look fine. So, I mean, yeah, everything looks good. It looks pretty clean. And there she be. Well, I was thinking that since both screws were long, and that one goes into the standoff, why is this one the same length? And that it was, I was thinking it was going to intrude out into here. But you know what? It does not. And maybe just the thicker part of this pocket clip here, something, uh, eats that distance up. So it's not intruding out into the knife. Okay, so we're good. I was just kind of like, that That seems odd. But no, I guess we're good. Back with a horn bill. The horn bill. And you know what? I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead as well. And uh, I'm going to get some more information on this canary. Because right off the top of my head, I don't know. I think they're going to do a run of these in fat carbon. Uh, and I don't know much more than, than speculation. So I'm going to get more information on that before I do that review. 
Uh, but uh, love this hornbill, and uh, it'll be nice to see how people like it when it comes out, when they can get their hands on it. Uh, I do. Uh, I like the design and everything, and when I posted it on my Instagram at Texas Blade, etc., I got, uh, you know, favorable uh, comments. So, here it is. We do. We love them knives. You guys, stay sharp.